Oh my god. Like, ideally, this is not supposed to be happening. I told myself one of the things I need to make sure I do not repeat is going for appointments late. When I see 12, I'm supposed to get there around 11.50, 11.45. I have a dental appointment in the next 20 minutes. It is currently 10.11. I'm supposed to get there at 10.30 and I'm in my apartment. If you are new here, hi, hola, sub, 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 sub. It is your internet bestie, Al Haji Tiozi, and we all know it is a new year. I mean, new year, new me. But how am I a new me if I'm missing an appointment that has been booked for almost three weeks? We have a clean space now. It actually takes minutes to arrange this and seconds to disorganize it. All I wanted to see was making lemonades out of lemon. It's definitely the mantra for 2024. And you're once again welcome to my safe space. Yeah. I show random yet very interesting and realistic days in my life. I was 27 years old living and working alone in the big city, Accra, Ghana. How I'm balancing between my 9 to 5, being an influencer, content creation, and what's not. So, if this is something that you are interested in, and I know definitely you are, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's just vibe. It is the next day, and also I feel like editing mm, voiceover to UZ wouldn't be justice talking about this whole situation. But yesterday, the beginning. I mean, yesterday is the first week of the year, and 2024 just started serving me some lemons. Because, how would I have a dental appointment plan like approximately three weeks ago and ends up not making it to the appointment because I was late? It really got to me, it almost ruined my mood. Who's calling me? My mom is so lovely, she calls me every day. Yeah. Yes, good morning. Hello, yes, Hello, good morning. Good morning. Bye bye. She's always calling to find out if I'm awake because it is 7.30 now and I need to be awake preparing to go to work. So what I was saying, yesterday, lemons were served, live, 2024 has started even showing me already, but then, oh god. Mothers <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> are always special, we can't complain. Anyways, I just woke up and I prepared, I'm about to leave for work, but yesterday but coming back from wherever I went to yesterday, I got myself chicken man pizza man their jollof, which is actually not as bad as people complain on the internet. I don't know which one they've been having, but then there's a new spot closest to where I live, and I said, let me just try this their 90 cities jollof, which comes with six wings and. 90 cities wait for this one is actually okay because I had it yesterday and then I'm having the leftover this morning. As usual, you guys, oh, I just put it in on the floor. But I, I thought the camera was about to fall. Anywho, I am almost running late. I need to hurry up and leave my apartment. Later in the day, I will be meeting someone special. If you're on social media, you probably know her and you like her. I'm creating content for her. I made friends yesterday. I invited one TikTok star. He's a Nigerian based in London TikTok star. And then I invited him for lunch today. He's actually confirmed, but he's not like 100% confirmed. He wants to know his schedule. He's apparently leaving Ghana today. He wants to know his schedule before he talks if he can be available for the lunch date i want him to try ghana jollof like proper ghana jollof from who nyo nyo <laughs> you always don't laugh and then when you met the girl that hype remix song oh, Outside, hey, we didn't mean now. <laughs> Time, the new year, new vibe. So, we are going like, So, I see this beautiful. Like, those are give the girl a gesture. So, I see this beautiful one. Like, oh, <laughs> one, two, action. And it's not important. I like what you said. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Is this 
morning i know i haven't been very consistent with this week's vlog because i have been down not like i've been sick just as i've been under the weather for the past two yeah two days i have not been feeling <laughs> i've not been sleeping very well which for me sleeping is very paramount if i go a day without sleeping i feel like i've done myself and <laughs> that's one question i've been asking when people are like tuesday would you even consider doing a cookout i'm like no I, I prioritize my sleep because I need to have that sleep. I need to sleep. I don't know, whenever I lay down, I sleep but then I'm not rested. And one of the things I'm doing this year is whenever I fall down, I wouldn't even bother quitting anything. I'll just lay back, sit down, relax and just chill. I mean, it's just yesterday or <laughs> yesterday's back when I got back from creating content with Airy. It's just me. I need to know myself when it's 12 and then i'm not sleeping it means i wouldn't have a good sleep but then if i sleep before 12 maybe later by 11 or 10 30 i'm asleep i tend to have a good sleep but when i don't do that and i try cheating myself not to sleep early i tend not to have a good sleep anyways that's that i just wanted to give you an update good morning i mean it's today is why did i even put my phone here today is friday it's currently 10 for 6 in the morning i know you're asking yourself am i not supposed to be at work since i work in the morning yes i know i'm supposed to go to work because today is not my off day but then i'm supposed to be <laughs> preparing food for my colleagues at work so randomly this week we've been eating at work a lot we've been cooking and then we've been just dining as colleagues which is one way or the other a good thing so i promised them tilapia and then they are bringing the banku and then other stuffs other putting like egg but i'm supposed to bring the tilapia and then the sauce and i had a tilapia someone brought tilapia to me everyone gave me tilapia but then why am i having the tilapia and then why haven't i marinated the tilapia already but waited till this morning whilst it's 10 47 10 48 and i'm supposed to get to work before 12 and i'm even i'm like what's that if you know how to cook you know how to cook as a chef this is supposed to be marinated did i say chef oh wow but then as someone who knows how to cook i know tilapia is supposed to be marinated for at least a day or maybe 12 11 hours then so that you get the juiciness of the spice and everything you use but then since i don't have time i don't have even two or one hour to marinate this i'm going to go with the simple quickest way which is to first of all mix my dry ingredients and of course with some oil Yeah, the cleansing film said hell no today is not going to work so i've covered it with um, an aluminium foil and our fish has been pre-marinated it's going to be in the fridge until i'm done with the main marination fish is looking so sumptuous never knew it was so nice talking cooking and talking at the same time right now it's time for us to make it our sweet sauce for the fish As soon as I started prepping, I told myself, Tuesday, do just one thing. Just set your phone and record for Instagram Raw or Shot. And right now, look at how sumptuous. Oh my god, look at how sumptuous the fish is looking. And I only have video for YouTube, not shorts, not Instagram, not TikTok. Final dressing, done. Back to the oven. So hot. 
Oh, finally done. Like, I'm not going to brag about this. Oh my god. Camera is not doing justice. When I opened it, they kind of... Ooh. Before saying anything, I first of all need to cool down. <sighs> oh my god, just how I wanted it. <sighs> honestly, I don't know. How do I even say honestly and say I do not know? But what I want to say is it kind of takes a lot, like a different kind of energy in order to be able to recover from the stress one gets from shopping or going for trip shopping in Cantamanto. Most of the time when I go out to trip shop in Cantamanto, I come home with one thing which is headache. And so today I told myself enough of the Cantamanto videos. I didn't do any video. Instead, I... I'm about to show you what I got from trip shopping. I didn't go to trip shop just with a mind to trip shop. I actually went to film for a client and at the end of the day, I passed by my blog site and then I got some tops because I don't, I don't know how I do it. Sometimes I have tops and I don't have trousers. And sometimes too, I tend to have a lot of trousers, but then I don't have tops. Like, like look at this, I have like so many trousers with less tops yes yeah, so as i said i passed by my plus place and then i got this you know my color minimal neutral tone tops mm, they are so expensive so yeah let's do some little try on haul Thank you for joining my little yet on plan <laughs> get ready with me. It's been a long time since I watched like stream YouTube videos, my favorite YouTube. I think since the early days, I've actually not had time to watch YouTube videos. One of my favorite is my farm and also Noah Beck. I think I'd watch um let's watch Noah Beck's own first. If I wake up in the morning and I try skipping breakfast, I most of the time skip the whole meal of the day and then I'll be eating only in the evening, which is like not so good. So this morning I just woke up and decided to make breakfast. Also forgive me putting the bread in a bowl cause I have a lot of dishes to be done. Yesterday we went to Wonderland. Yeah, falling in the love hurts just as much as falling so out of it. But how like cake to go and shoot a client my second client for 2024 i was so excited when he said wonderland because it's a nice aesthetically pleasing like place for content creators like you don't need to do airbnbs for all your content because they have staged everything for you just present yourself and then use their ambience to do your videos we went there and i don't know if it's the receptionist or it was a cashier whatever she was in charge of the place when we went there and she was so rude oh my my god she was so so rude mind you when we went there like we didn't see anybody we were the only clients there and the people there were just children and kids who i think wouldn't pay exactly what we pay and then they charge 200 cities per hour for a section so whether you are using the space or not so far as you are entering the wonderland you pay 200 ghana cities and i and a client so i i, I was present as a videographer 
the client who was the model and then another person who was the director because the model wasn't all that a model model i was working with like a clothing brand and then they had this kind of thing so they wanted like someone take fat to wear it and basically that person wasn't a model so we had to bring a director to come and direct the movement and everything so at least we said oh let the videographer and then the said model pay he said no this lady was like so furious and that was our only option so we just had to do it but my question is it takes nothing to be polite it takes nothing to be respectful to people me if I don't know you, that's when I'm even so respectful and jolly. If I know you, I know who you are, I know your caliber, I know like what you can give me, what you can afford for me. So I kind of am skeptical when dealing with you. But if I don't know you, bros, that's when I am like, I am like 100% full for you. I can literally like sleep on the floor for you to work on me if I don't know you. Like I, I am calm so that you have the best version of me. and. I don't know, it's, it's mostly like girls, females, I don't know what is wrong with some of them, but they are always like, <clears throat> you don't know who you'd meet, maybe sometimes your future husband and then you'd be acting like that, but with that one said my apartment oh my god, is in a total mess, I mean look at the kitchen. I have dishes to undo, dishes to wash, like this, the city, I had malt. I still have like everything displaced anywhere. Look at my somehow corridor, also looking so weird. Like, what is this? I need to arrange this side. I need to unpack these dishes and this one too as well. This is actually like when I went to cook for Ghana, that long time, 27 to 8. I've still not unpacked those things, so I need to unpack them. Oh my God. <laughs> it is so heavy. Bluetooth note. Yes, if you're thinking, TOZ, are you part of them? Obviously, I am part of them. I don't know how you guys would clean your whole apartment without playing music. Yes. Yes. Editing TZ once again um, for reasons that I myself cannot explain. I have to do an outro because I can't find the outro I did. I know perfectly I did an outro for this vlog, but I just can't find it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, definitely you did. So please kindly give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I am so sorry for not posting on my actual posting days, which was Tuesday and Friday. Your boy was a bit occupied, but I think. I think I shouldn't even have a fixed posting date but then in a week I'm supposed to post two so I was just thinking should we just keep the whole posting day and then make it I post when I have video but then in a week I should know and I should make sure I give you guys two videos in every week let me know what you think about that one in the comment section and as usual if you like this vlog make sure to give me a big thumbs up as i said kindly subscribe once again and yeah if you made it to this point just comment mm, i think the one thing i said is comment the reason why you kind of like my videos i think that's what i said in the outro i did that i can't find so if you made it to this point kindly leave a comment like a short sentence about why you are always here to watch my vlogs and i would i just want to know your feedback why you guys literally watch my videos without much to say it is a bright sunday i just finished editing left with some little touches you know some back and forth things in editing not like when you're done you're done you're not done 
<laughs> so I'm going to go back to finishing this so that you guys will see this today. And yeah, without much to say, thank you so much for watching this. As I said, love you. Bye.